A skinny little blonde-haired nerd with green glasses, no friends, and a huge brain walks into Highlandway Middle School in 2015. That little nerd was me. <laughs> I look back at my sixth grade year and I realize how much I grew. Tonight I'd like to take you on a journey of the ups and downs of my life and how I got to where I am now. In seventh grade, I found myself with an equally as weird friend. His name was Liam Trembath and he's one of my best friends ever. He showed me that there was more to life than video games and eating Doritos. Up until this point, my life has been pretty easy going. But this is when my mom decided to start pushing me to be the best that I could be. There was no chance I was going to join the track team, so she made me try swimming. And if you know me at all, you know that I really like swimming. Um, but <laughs> I despised it back then. Uh, about a week into joining the swim team, I realized that I loved it. And uh, my mom made me try something new, and I realized that it was one of my favorite things ever. So. Lesson number one, going into your comfort zone can be a good thing, more often than you think. Eighth grade is where my one friend turned into a group of five hooligans we call the original five. Minus two. <laughs> we like to hang out and have fun. Howell schools is split up into two middle schools. We have Parker and Highlander Way. And through my sixth or eighth grade year, I had no idea that there was a whole other middle school that, of kids that I had yet to meet. Um, and at the end of the eighth grade year, there was a dance called the eighth grade formal where they invited all the eighth graders to. And I was super nervous to go to this. I was, I was really shy. But the original five and I, we got there, and it wasn't so bad. The food was really good. People were really nice. And there was a picture booth. So lesson number two, surround yourself with good people. Up until the summer of my freshman year, I was terrified to make new friends. So I decided to sign up for marching band. Uh, because my mom did it, and she said it was a lot of fun. <laughs> um, she encouraged me to put myself out there and make new friends. Um, so coming into freshman year, I was absolutely wired. I grew at least 5,000 inches, I got new glasses, and I was so excited to meet all the new people. <laughs> This was the summer that I finally grew out of my own skin. I came into marching band that year with 10 friends and I came out with at least 10 fold. Lesson number three, don't be afraid to put yourself out there. You don't know what kind of opportunities can arise. After this marching band, I started building my reputation as the outgoing funny kid. This confidence from band camp carried all the way through my freshman year and led me a really good group of friends. Coming into my sophomore year, I decided to take a class called Advanced Placement United States History. And if you know anything about high school, you know that A push is quite challenging. But I felt like I was up for the challenge. I had confidence for freshman year, I had skills I acquired from my mother, and I was ready for it. We started class on August 26th, the day before my birthday. Um, we had a quiz on the second day of class, which was also my birthday. <laughs> Uh, this just outlined the rest of the class for me. It turns out I wasn't a real history buff. Uh, <laughs> I fell behind a lot of schoolwork and it, you know, it, I didn't feel like I could measure up anymore. Um, this affected a lot of my other classes, my relations with other people, and I, I felt defeated. Lesson number four, you're going to get beat up in life. You're going to encounter strife. Difficult situations will ensue and you can't escape failure. But it's what you do when you encounter this failure is what defines you as a person. COVID was a difficult time for me in particular because I don't do well learning online. But through this time of self-reflection and identity, I took some time to figure out who I wanted to be and what I wanted to do. My mom always told me that I needed to take more time to be still and sit with my thoughts because that's where the biggest ideas come from. <clears throat> and lesson number five is moms are always right. <laughs> as silly as it sounds, more often than not, I find myself saying, mom, you were right. She showed me that if you know who you really are, nobody can break you down, and that really stuck with me. It helped me get through quarantine, bullying, and failure. 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 I admit I struggle with failure a lot, and even the fear of failure. Through writing this talk, I struggle with it, and it's, it's really difficult. But it is necessary because success comes from learning, and learning comes from failure. In short, if you want to succeed, 
we must first fail. Lesson number six, if you don't fail, that's not, that's not you, mom. <laughs> <laughs> Lesson number six, if you don't fail in life, it's because you never try. And if you never try, you'll never know what you want. When you try, you might fail, but then you try, and you try again. You try until you figure out what really matters to you, what your purpose is. To find purpose, you must have a reason to, and your reason is found in your intentions. Your intentions will define your purpose or your calling in life. I can't tell you what your purpose is, but I implore you to sit still and let the quiet in. Put yourself out there and try something new. And don't be afraid of failure. Instead, embrace it. And be still with your thoughts because that's where the best ideas come from. Thank you.